Hey everyone, Al here for another episode of Kicker Clutch. Tonight is a US edition. I am joined by my friends Fred. Hey yo. Kern Cobb. Hello. Lighter. Howdy. Lexer. Hello. And Moiso. Oh my god. All right, up next is ZSL Crystal Light Lake by Rehomes92. I'm imagining like an iced tea or a lemonade lake. An interesting um, thumbnail. Crystal Light uh, in America is a drink mix. With a really bad aftertaste. Because they use like fake sugar or something in it. I used to like the iced tea growing up. The Crystal Light iced tea. I think my friend's mom put like extra stuff into it to make it taste better though. Yeah. My okay. mom my mom refused to buy it. My mom didn't like it. I okay, this is a corner. Um no, I, my my mother-in-law used to make it and that was what really turned me off. Oh, you feel over jump in here. Oh, that's Ooh. ice. Oh wait, so oh, that hook. might work oh, anyway. Yeah. It's a hook. You might be able to enter oh, wall can't. ride off that ice at the beginning. What? On the left, yeah, the first one. It's a hook. Yeah, you can wheel hook it for sure. That's it's a hook. I yeah. You... Oh, you... I just clipped through a block. <laughs> so I played this already for ZSL judging, and I did not notice the design in the sky when I did it. Yeah. That is really cool. That is cool. I like that. That's what the thumbnail is. You can see that design in the sky. What is that part? Is it just... Oof, I did not make that jump. Oh, that's I'm supposed to be the Northern Lights? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It looks cool. I, I really like that. Is it supposed to be bouncing off the crystals on the ground? No, it's just Northern Lights. It's a real cool effect they got on it. All right, it's interesting. That's a lot of parts. Looks really good, though. I like that effect. This might be a little bit too difficult for ZSL. Somebody needs to oh, adjust shit. their. Uh, that was not enough arms up. Somebody needs to adjust their render distance. Apparently, there's some pop in on the, oh. uh, the auroras. So, my biggest complaint about this map from a ZSL standpoint is how precise you have to be on the first jump. Because the landing space to actually catch a downhill is very short. Yeah, it is. I, I got it luckily my first time, but I did not know to arms up the full time for the uh, for the second jump. I saw Marky's message about it. And that's I saw it too, and I thought I did enough, and it was still short. And the, so I'd, I'd recommend like either getting rid of this first dinner or changing the landing to be like, like you can do it farther and still make it. Mm. Because if you do get the inner, then you have plus five feet and you overshoot the jump. Oh my God, I just overshot the jump massively. That was, a, that was yeah, the best I've done. I that into. was the best I did the wheel hook to that, that last one. Mm. 
Xerxes doing some style points over here. Cool, cool. Ugh. That wheel hooks to me everything, pretty much. At the start? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I Besides the jump landings. But yeah, that's, that's why it's like, not good. Everything else about this map is... Okay. Did you try the wall right yeah. off the bottom of the ice? It almost sets at you up the... Per at the beginning. At the beginning, drop into a wall ride. Yeah. Like, it's so close to being like perfect into the <sighs> into the wood. You skipped the first checkpoint though. Oh uh, yeah. You do. Never mind. Horrible idea. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, and you can definitely do the first turn without the wall ride and all that, which is fine, but... So much still, slower. Yeah, it's it's tricky. Oh. I'd rather the, uh, the wheel <clears> be it. <throat> the beginning of the track than somewhere in the middle. Well, depends on the wheel hook. I think it's because the fact that it has ice underneath of it, it's making it more difficult. If the if the whole piece was no support, then it would be the same. The end's so fucking annoying as well. Oh. The amount of times I've just yeeted off the side and missed the finish. I might need a brake tap for the first jump. If you do the inner, then yeah, you have to. Tried cutting it too close on the landing on the second jump. Up the bobsled section. Don't have enough time to finish. Let's check it out. Well, we got a little ice castle right through the end. It looks really nice. It looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. Looks amazing. It looks sick. I bet the thumbnails dope if they use the uh, castle part with the uh, yeah. Aurora over it. I haven't seen the thumbnail, but. And so yeah, the Aurora it's... looks good. The Aurora looks sick the way that they layered the neon colors. Like yeah. it's a really cool effect. Yeah. That's what the, the, the it's like a, a view over the lake with the cast in the background, the Aurora going over top of it. It looks really good. Reholms has had some pretty good deco the last couple of maps. I mean, yeah, some of the transitions, the jump transitions are a little short, um, making the precision needed for them. Um, 
pretty precise. I didn't mind it. What's hard light? Are they talking about the lighting being hard? <laughs> no, it's... Is it a game or something? To, they're trying to talk about like what the... Uh... Oh, they're talking to Light Nesser? <laughs> Is that who they're talking about? What's... No, they're talking about the the what it would take to freeze neon into a solid. Oh, they can't read, but they're scientists. Mm hmm. Well, you don't need to read to be a scientist. <laughs> True. Well, we got six kick votes, 15 clutch votes. Congrats, three homes. It is a clutch. Probably need some changes before. I don't know if it was already voted on for ZSL or not. I mean, some longer landings for those transitions would help out a lot. Um, the level... The deco looks great. Like excellent, excellent job on that. 